dry exactly what it says on the tin. Dry fertilizers are often mixed into the soil. They can be used on both in-ground gardens and container-grown plants. These types of fertilizers are generally added as a way of encouraging long-term growth in seedlings, transplants, and crops. Liquid Obviously, these fertilizers are nutrients in liquid form. They may additionally use a type of binding agent to help them be better absorbed by the plant in question. These fertilizers might be poured onto the soil surrounding the plant so that they can be absorbed roots. Or they could be sprayed on the leaves instead. After all, foliar leaf sprays are particularly useful for vegetables during their growing season. Liquid fertilizers are generally considered good for plants that are actively growing and should usually be applied on a monthly basis. However, leafy crops might need to be sprayed on a bi-weekly basis. Growth enhancers While they aren't fertilizers per se, these substances help plants absorb nutrients that they receive from elsewhere. Some of them, such as kelp, are also a great source of trace elements. However, Paying for these elements to be included in your fertilizer can be a waste of money since healthy soil should already contain helpful substances such as microbes, enzymes, and humic acids. How to use organic fertilizer You pretty much use organic fertilizers in the same way you would use regular chemical fertilizer. If you are buying pomade supplies, the process is fairly simple. Read the instructions on the box and err on the side of caution when you are deciding how much to apply. Hint. It's always a good idea to avoid using strong-smelling products like fish emulsion fertilizer indoors. However, if you want to mix up your own fertilizer for a specific garden need that you have, you can certainly do that as well. Just be careful not to overdo it in order to avoid burning or even killing sensitive plants. List of organic fertilizers alfalfa meal and pK ratio 3-2-2 alfalfa is commonly used as part of livestock feed. However, alfalfa meal is simply ground up so that it breaks down faster. This particular fertilizer has low amounts of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. As a result, alfalfa meal works at moderate rate of speed. The best use for this fertilizer is as a soil conditioner in the early spring prior to planting crops. Recommendation, down to earth alfalfa meal. 5 pounds cottonseed meal and pk ratio 6-1-1 this fertilizer has plenty of nitrogen but it also contains fair amounts of phosphorus and potassium the downsides to cottonseed meal are that it works slowly and that it is available primarily in cotton growing areas however this fertilizer is particularly useful for conditioning gardens in the fall before cover crops are planted or before mulch is applied this gives the cottonseed meal time to break down fully so that the nitrogen present is readily available in the spring. Recommendation, down to earth cottonseed meal, 6 pounds corn gluten meal and pK ratio, 0.5-0.5-1 corn gluten meal contains trace amounts of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. It is also good soil stabilizer but it works slowly. Therefore, you should add it in the fall so that it has time to break down over the winter. Recommendation, Soil Matter Horticultural Corn Meal, 40 pounds and pK ratio, 0-5-0 Rock Phosphate is made from rocks that have been ground up. It contains large amounts of phosphate as well as other essential nutrients. The main benefit of using rock phosphate is that the elements it contains don't dissolve in water. Instead, they hang around in the soil until they are used by the plants that are growing there. Recommendation, Espoma Rock Phosphate, 7.25 pounds cow manure and pK ratio, 2.5-1-1.5 manure in general has a high mass to nutrients ratio. It nonetheless contains respectable amounts of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Cow manure also works on gardens at a moderate rate of speed. These elements all help to make it an excellent compost additive. However, some weed seeds may survive being digested by the cows in question and this can cause obvious problems. You should also avoid manure leftover from industrial operations because it contains lots of salt. However, even regular manure can end up burning plants if too much is used or if it's used too often. Recommendation, black co-composted cow manure, 5 pounds chicken or poultry manure and pK ratio. 
3.5-1.5-1.5 Having a lot of poultry crap on hand doesn't mean that you'll get comparatively high nutrient levels. Even so, this fertilizer contains slightly higher amounts of the three main plant nutrients than cow manure does. It also works in a somewhat faster fashion. The best time to use poultry manure is just after harvesting your crops or just before you begin another gardening cycle. As is the case with cow manure, you'll want to be careful with this product because it can burn your plant if too much is applied. Recommendation Espoma 3-2-3 Chicken Manure, 25 pounds Earthworm castings and PK ratio, 2-1-1 Earthworm castings contain decent amounts of all three vital nutrients. As a result, this type of fertilizer is considered a great addition to flower and vegetable gardens. Recommendation, Unco Industries Wiggle Worm Soil Builder, 30 pounds greens and 1-1-5 greens and comes from ancient seabeds. This high calcium fertilizer also contains iron, potassium, and other trace elements. However, the nutrient levels in greens and products can vary depending on their source. Recommendation, Espoma Greens and Soil Conditioner, 7.5 pounds compost and PK ratio, 2-1.5-1.5 compost nutrient profile varies based on what is put into, but it is often close to that of cow manure. It is a popular garden fertilizer. This is no doubt because it can be made for free, and it works at a moderate pace. There are also a variety of ways that compost can be used in your garden. It can be used as a mulch or mixed with your garden soil. It can also be brewed into compost tea to use as a foliar feed. Gardeners who don't have space for a large compost system can even get similar benefits from using worm compost bins under their sinks. However, compost can be alkaline in nature. This characteristic negatively affects how well plants living in the soil can absorb nutrients.